you invested $26,000 in two accounts paying 6% and 8% annual interest. If the total interest earned was 1980, how much was invested at each rate? So in this problem, we want to figure out how much money is invested at 6% and how much is invested at 8%. So we'll start by letting X be the money invested at 6%. Now you can do this problem with one variable or with two variables. I'll do it with two variables and then I'll explain how to do it with one in the middle of the problem. So X is the money invested at 6%. So that means Y is the money invested at 8%. It doesn't matter what variables you use. You can use A and B. You can flip the X and Y. Uh, they're just um, dummy variables. Okay, so we invest $26,000 total. So the total amount invested is the money invested at 6% plus the money invested at 8%, and that should equal $26,000, the total money invested. So the money invested at 6% plus the money invested at 8% equals the total money invested. Now the hard part. The total interest earned was 1980. So we need to figure out what interest came from each account. So the interest from this account is going to be 6% of the money invested, right? So it's 6% of the money you put in. So like if it was $1,000, it would be 6% times 1,000, which would be 60 bucks. Plus the money earned from this account. So that will be 8% of the money invested in that account. So the money coming from the account at 6% plus the money coming from the account at 8% equals the total money earned, which is 1980. And so now what you can do is you can take this equation here and solve for y. So simply subtract x. And so we end up with y equals 26,000 minus x. And then we take this and we plug it back into this equation here. Let me switch colors here. So we have 0.06x plus 0.08, and then replacing y with 26,000 minus x, and then here we have 1980. And now we just solve for x. I want to point out that you could start the problem right here. This could be your first step. So the money coming from the account invested at 6% is this. And then if you invest $26,000 uh, and you invest x dollars in this account, you have 26,000 minus x dollars to invest in the other account. So you do 8% of that. That's a little bit harder, so you can just do it this way if you want. So 0.06x plus, and then we multiply 0.08 times 26,000. Let me put that in my calculator. So we get 0.08 times 26,000. That's equal to $2,080. So 2,080 minus, and then distributing this, we get minus 0.08x, and that's equal to 1980. Combining these, 0.06 and negative 0.08, that's negative 0.02x plus 2080 equals 1980. Now you subtract 2080, subtract 2080, so we get negative 0.02x equals, so 1980 minus 2080, that's equal to 1980, whoops, minus 2080. That's equal to negative 100. To finish, you just divide by negative 0.02. And so I'm not taking any chances. It's early. So <laughs> using a calculator for every single computation. Don't be a hero. So we get x equals $5,000. That feels really, really right. So that's the money invested at 6%. So to get the other one, you just do 26,000 minus this. So y is going to be 21,000, right? You just take 26,000, you subtract 5,000. So 26,000 minus 5,000, and so you get $21,000. And that's the money invested at 8%. Um, kind of a harder problem, so I hope that made sense.